What a beautiful day to be a dog and not have to worry about cleaning out the inside of a grain bin. <laughs> Thanks to HD1 for sponsoring today's video. So we got one bin empty on the floor. Well, we have multiple ones, but one for this morning. Then we'll bring it over to this one. Bring it over to this one and finish filling it up. And this one is going to be empty before long as well. The girl's ready to get out. I think I'm going to take a quick break here and drink some AG1. This stuff is always easy to fit into my day anytime and it's just a good part of whole body foundational nutrition. Usually I drink it in the morning, but to be honest, I just fit it in wherever I can. The nutrients in this stuff help me feel more focused, more energetic, and it helps support my immune system. Honestly, it feels like one of those things that kind of replenishes me. And a bunch of people a lot smarter than me tell me that it's supposed to support healthy aging, and I just had a birthday that I don't really want to talk about. It's really an effortless daily habit that you can put into your routine however you want to, wherever you're going. All you got to do is mix a travel pack or one scoop with eight ounces of water and you're good to go. That's it. That's all there is to it. And when it comes to taste, I'm pretty fussy. This stuff is pretty good. And right now, AG1 is giving my community, that's you guys, a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five free travel packs with your first purchase. To try it out for yourself, just go to drinkag1.com slash millennial farmer to get started on your order. Thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. We've got a flat tire on the rock picker that we've got to get off because we don't want to drag it all the way up to the shop. I don't know if it's standard or metric because it's built in Canada. So I'm going to bring both sets. And we don't know if it'll work or not, but we're gonna try to lift it up with the skid loader. And the dogs are gonna go right back in where they just came out of, because that's what they love to do. You see, this is the flat part right up in here. Boy, that was a lot easier than what we did last time. Well, yeah, it was, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, those look standard, grade eight. All right, we got it up on a stand here. We'll see if this impact will take it off. I bet we used that impact last time. I'll bet we did. I used it on the ripper tire. Don't want to take the hubcap off. No. You want to grab the outside and I'll just kind of pick it up? Like that. Roll it into the loader bucket? Yep. You ladies good? See you okay. Remember when the excavators came and took the rocks out of the fence lines and then a couple years later you had them rip wrap your shoreline and yeah. we kind of laughed because we bought our rocks back? Yep. We had them bring in crushed concrete last week. Do you think we bought our bin pad back? That's what I even <laughs> mentioned that when they were hauling it out of here because we're going to need crushed cement. I thought of that yesterday. We don't have high hopes for this blaster being able to mount that tire up, but we're going to at least try it first. Yeah, boy, it's not going to work. There's no way. Do we want the air hose on just in case or try it once and see what it does? I think it's just not even going to hardly move it. I don't think so either. It's too big and too stiff. If it moves it, more, it's not even. I'm gonna get the air in it, so I'll just let the air out because there's no chance, no prayer. If we got a strap around it, it'd be possible to. I think we're going to monkey around for 45 minutes and still not have it fixed. Yeah. Almost. That would mean I'd have to pay you something though. <laughs> I suppose. It's always something or another. I just got to. Reminder on my phone that I have a doctor's appointment in 15 minutes 
actually 13 minutes and it's a 25 minute drive so I'm gonna be late I just hate being interrupted during the day it kills all production it's gonna be at least two hours down but this is one of those appointments I've been waiting a month for so gotta do it it's not a big deal it's not like the time my kidneys quit working or I had a pancreas that stopped this is this is just a back issue that's been bothering me for 10 years well I made it through the appointment and I'm still alive so now it's time to replenish my body in a healthy way to make sure I stay alive. Can I get a regular soft shell taco and a cheesy gordita crunch with a large Mountain Dew, please? There's lettuce on the soft shell taco, so it's basically like I'm eating a salad for lunch. We're out in the soybean field now checking things over. We got word from the agronomist that we've got some soybean aphids coming back. I don't think we've ever had to spray aphids twice but he did recommend doing some acres in this big field here, which would be, well, a bummer. But he said some areas were above threshold, so we're just out here checking it out. Boy, these are, these are clean. There's, there's a leaf with like three on it. I don't know, maybe more like 30. But I don't find any leaves that are full of them. There's some aphids everywhere, but nothing that's full of aphids. Some of these areas the beans are a lot taller than I would have expected as well. Well I saw this, one time it was pretty bad and eight or nine that were pretty decent. That's the same thing. This was the worst one I found. This has got I don't know you can see this is pretty bad. Yeah. This is but that's by far the worst I saw. And when I looked earlier I, I walked saw ten plants, hardly anything and then probably one like this. We're a little bit torn. We don't really know if we want to spray or not. That is a 220 acre field. It's a big field and probably only half of it really needs to be sprayed. And we would need to gain two bushels an acre to pay for, to pay one bushel for the chemical roughly and one bushel if we decided to have it sprayed with an airplane instead of running over our beans. It's too windy to spray today, so we're gonna think on it overnight. But regardless, we gotta move some chemicals around and get some glyphosate up on here to spray that 100 acres of wheat that we gotta kill the weeds off of. Taking the Liberty off, that is glufosinate, different than glyphosate, which is Roundup. You do not wanna mix those up in most cases. That is just one of the many products we get through Farmers Business Network. Right now for new members, if you're not a member and you're a farmer, you should be. And if you're not, you can save 5% off your first order right now by using the code ZAC5, but you gotta spell it correctly. There's a link down below. Another eight inches. All right, well that's ready to go. It's too windy to spray today, but now we got it ready to go anyway. I think what we've decided to do with the aphid situation is to use some of the leftover chemicals we've got and spray a couple tankfuls out tomorrow and just kind of pick and choose the areas in that field. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, but when it's not windy. In a minute, Didge. Not right now. Not at the moment. Dad took off for the day, but I'm going to continue to putz for a little bit here. I feel as though we're close enough to harvest right now that I could put the correct tractor on the grain cart. We aren't going to need this thing tomorrow, but we only got a couple loads of beans left to load out with the grain cart. And I've got a little spare time, which is hard to come by, so I may as well put it on there. before I hook this thing into one unit. I've actually got a newer upgraded hitch from J&M. And I don't remember exactly what's different about it, but it's different. It's a big boy. I'm gonna need both hands. Okay, now let's see if my little DeWalt impact there can pull this off. Piece of cake. Definitely need both hands again.
these hitches have a pretty nice sort of swivel ball in here with a grease cert that you can you know gives it gives it a little swivelness hitch is swapped let's see if I can line this thing up oh we're at the right height I'll have to wiggle it. I think I'll put in my draw bar saver here for May West. Drop that in the bottom. See if I can get the pin in by wiggling the tractor. Nope. Now I know from the internet there's a trick here with uh, this flapper dealio, but I don't think I have it set up right. I'm gonna try it anyway. If it doesn't work, maybe I'll Google it. I've never actually done that. Yeah, I didn't do it right, but I'm close. I got it. Just had to fight with it a little bit. A lot of it. Well, that went a lot easier than that was supposed to. All right, let's see if we got everything hooked up the way we want it here. Gates correct, spouts correct. That's really it. I just wanted to have it hooked up to the correct tractor. That way when we run it in the shop and get things ready to go here, it's actually hooked to the correct one. Concrete should be close to dry. Shelves are supposed to come tomorrow, so hopefully we can set those up. I don't like scraggly grass, so while the rock picker sits here on a jack, I'm gonna mow where it used to sit. I just hate scruffy, tall grass. It drives me bonkers. There we go. Just like the fairways at Augusta. Don't get too excited. I don't actually know anything about golf at all. And I'm not interested. <laughs>